are you guys struggling to rack up silver well today i am going to show you guys how to rack up the silver fast and how to gain a lot of xp at a lower level at Balea river so without any further ado guys let's jump right on in into today's episode hey guys we're at 7265 we're going to be casting between these two rocks right here we got a fish on it's not the biggest fish in the world but we got one on A little greenling, all right. Oh, we got another one on, oh, that was fast. Six seventy eight grayling, we'd love to see it. We're going to try a several of text techniques today. We're going to do the spin and go. So we're well not spin and go, stop and go. And then we're going to do the fast retrieval. And then this right here is the regular retrieval. So we're going to do a bunch of techniques today. And we'll see which one works the best. So this one right now is just a regular speed retrieval. We're going to do this for a little bit. And then I'm going to switch it up to the stop and go. Again, every single episode I do say this, but I do want a trophy today. That would be nice, but very unlikely. Perch, what's up, dude? You guys are getting a little hungry, so let's go ahead and eat some instant noodles. Mmm, who does not like instant noodles? Mmm, delicious. Am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go catch a big one. Come on, big big fat brownie or big fat um, grayling. Come on, bite my hook. I know you want to. All right, let's try the stop and go method. Let's go right between here. I got a 1.7K brown yesterday at this rock. So let's see. Let's go and stop. Go, oh, there we go. There we go. Five eighty seven grayling. All right, the babies are just hitting. They're just hitting. The babies add up to. Ooh, there we go. There's our first round of the episode. You will love to see it. All right, the brown coming out. We don't want a tame in because if I had my 79 pound test line on, we could easily get a tame in even a 30, 30K one, 40K one. I could do it in my setup here, but I did for the sake of the video, put a 23 pound test line on because uh, the heavier the pound test line, I think just slightly decreases the bite rate chance because Thicker line, the fish can see that, right? I think I'm right on that. I think I am. So I did put on lighter line. So I think that helps the bite rate a little tiny bit. All right, so that rock's not doing anything. We're going to go over here just a little bit. All right, let's go right here. Boom. Right 
in that we're, we're aiming for this honey hole right here and then we're going to let it drop in the honey hole Let's see which technique works the best today. So far, the spinning, the regular speed works the best right now. We're not getting as many bites on the stop and go. This game's lying to me. It says it's sunny out, but it should not be sunny. The forecast says otherwise. Oh, there we go. A baby. Just a little baby. All right. Yeah, see, it says it's cloudy today, and then it won't get cloudy until 19 o'clock, and then it'll go sunny again at 2 p.m. Like, I just don't get this game when it comes to the weather forecast. It is so broken beyond belief. I think they're cropping the forecast in real life. Because the real life ones are broken too. <laughs> they are never accurate. Like when it says that it's raining today, it should start at like 6 a.m. And then maybe stop at like midnight. Maybe. Oh, 604 Brown. Look at that. Love to see it. All right, the big ones are coming out. All right, we got another one on. All right, so the browns are definitely coming out. I'll tell you that much. So definitely coming out. Let's try right behind that rock. All right, oh, that's the honey hole. Oh, that's the honey hole. Let it sink. All right, and now it's reeling a little bit. Come on, trophy round, trophy grayling. I know you want to bite that hook. Oh, I know you do. You want to swallow it good. Oh, I know you do. You want to swallow that hook. Come on. Well, if the forecast wasn't lying to me, and it was actually... um. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh, hell no. What is with me <laughs> getting the stock? Uh oh. <laughs> no. Uh oh, guys, this is not good. Yeah, this is this is not what you want to see. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my! It's oh for. Bloody sakes. Oh, okay, let's go around this way and see if we can... You've got to be kidding me. Not today. Oh, come on. You're not... You've got... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh... Come on, something's bite it and free it up. All right, guys, it's not gonna get freaky. All right, here we go again. I, I didn't want another episode to be relogging like last episode. We got stuck like three times. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, guys, we are back. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not even. Go I'm not going close to that rock again. I'm mad at that rock now. I'm mad at that rock. We're gonna head over towards over here now. Wow, you gotta quit at Balea because he got stuck. You don't hear that every day. You do not hear that every day. All right. If I get stuck again at Balea, <laughs> I'm going to lose it. All right, Brown Grayling, come on. 
I'm doing a uh, retrieval speed 20 here. Oh, hey, oh, I got robbed. Game loves robbing me, I'll tell you that much. Oh, and guess what happened last night at Amber? Guess what? Talk about robbing for one second. Five, six to gram about, but nice. Uh, I got robbed at Amber last night. Again, game just robs and robs and robs me. I got a 19 point, like 5k common carp and common carp trophies at 20. Oh, and then later on, I got like a 20, 20 some K mirror carp at 25k is a trophy mirror. I just, uh, that's not really much of a robbery, but still, it's close. I'm so sick and tired of getting robbed. All right. Yeah, like, I don't get it. Look at us. It says it's cloudy today. Where's the clouds? It's 14 o'clock. It's getting evening pretty soon. It's not cloudy. Come on. Come on now, man. I think that's not fair. Game's lying to me. Urch. Man, all the babies, all the babies just fighting today. That's all right, I guess they add up, eh? they all add up. Brown trout. Four seventeen. All right, let's try the speed up method here. All right, speed up. Let it sink. Speed up. Let it sink. Okay, there's one. Four fifty two brown. All right, the browns are coming out. The graylands are going to sleep, and browns are coming out. All right, here's another one. A little chum. All right, let's let's head towards over here a little bit. And no, we are not getting stuck on that rock. Not happening. All right, this is this is a decent sized one. If it goes into the yellow with my setup here, that means it is a little bit decent. This is a 815 gram, uh, oh, never mind, I lied. It's a 1.15, nice grayling there. All right, so this is this the grayling um, honey hole, and then over there is the brown trail honey hole.
All right, so it looks like the speed up method is not, I mean, technique is not really working that well. So let's go back to regular uh, speed. All right, last second spider. What's up, dude? What's up? All right, thank you. Thank you for your service. Thanks for biting the hook. There we go. Six twenty-seven ground grayling. All right, I'm I'm gonna try to go right behind this front. I, this is a bad idea. A decent size one, ain't it? Oh, it's a Taman. Oh, okay, no, no, stay away. If I had my seventy-nine pound, if I had my seventy-nine pound test line on, I don't care. Bring my thirty k one, but um, I only have twenty-three pound test line. So if I got a big one on, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, Taman? What's up? Thank you. As long as you're 5k and under, you can bite the hook, but nothing bigger, please. Not with this pound test line on. Oh, boy. I, I'm just risking everything here, aren't I? <laughs> no, no. Don't you think about it, hook. No, you're not going behind that rock. Don't you even think about it. No, don't. Whoa. Oh, guys, that was so close. <laughs> that was so close. All right, come on. There's going to be something by the weeds here. Something juicy has got to be by the weeds. Come on. Dinner is on the table here. Come on. Dinner served. Come on. No? Fine. Zing. Oh, oh, right in that weed section over there. Oh, there's got to be something in there. Come on. Is there, there's got to be a big trophy grayling or brown just sitting right in there. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's an eye. Oh, okay. All right, so we can get eye with this hook. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, no, I'm not going to do max cast. If I do max cast, you know it's going to go right in those weeds and get snagged. There we go. Oh, an ass? Okay. Okay. I wouldn't mind a big ass. I would not mind at all. An ass trophy would be nice. 
Wait, an ash trophy is what? 8k for an ass? 8 to 9k? I could do that with this line. It'd be a little bit of a fight, I think, with this 27-pound uh, test line, but... Okay, Perch. No, no. Goodbye. Do not bite my hook. I do not like you. And guys, Balea is a really good river and it's a juicy map to be unlocked at. What level do you unlock it at? Balea uh, 12. Yeah, Grayling and Brown go for a lot of silver and they also give you a ton of XP. So if you guys unlock this map, it won't take long. It will not take long to grind up your silver and gain a lot of XP. Oh. Oh, it's a, oh, no, 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 no. Pike, don't you dare. I, I, I honestly, guys, I didn't even know you could catch Pike on this side. I thought the Pike was on the other side of the river. Oh, no, no. My leader size is only 7.9K. So if we got a decent sized Pike, gone instantly. It's gone. Ooh, okay. Well, that's kind of worrying some. You don't want to thick even even fluo carbon. You don't want like a thirty cent. I'm not thirty. Uh, thirty kilogram, sixty, fifty centimeter long, because that might also dis, um, deter the fish. Just by a little bit. Because even with fluo carbon, when you get that size of fluo carbon, even though it is uh, see through in water, it still gets thicker. So there's still a chance they could see it. So if you want to target smaller fish. I would use 15 can uh, about 12 K take 12 kg and under I would use for small fish. And then if you want to go for like decent sized fish, I'd go from probably, probably 30 centimeter to about 15 to 20 kg on liters. And if you want to go for trophies, I would go from probably anywhere from 30 kilograms to about 50 kilograms or 60 kilograms, 60 centimeter liters. And also use like a 60 pound test line or more if you want to go for decent sized fish. All right, let's head back towards this way. It's evening now and then when it comes to evening, I uh, will go and feed. And see if we can catch ourselves a trophy roughy or something. That would be kind of cool. We might switch lures for um, for net for tomorrow. Okay, nice brown. What's up? Tomorrow in game day, we're going to probably switch lures to see what we can get on them. Probably the spike or two yellow. Let's see. Like the Hornet one is doing awesome. Don't get me wrong. It is doing awesome. I just want to see what the spikers would get. Anything bigger maybe. All right, baby brown.
All right. All right, so it looks like the Hornet's slowing down. The Grayling and Brown are gonna bite for about a couple more hours. Let's see if we can get a couple of decent ones in before it hits pitch black. Are we back at the honey hole? Yeah, right there's the honey hole. There we go. Grayling. 946 gram, 946 gram Grayling. Not bad. See how much XP they give you? Under a K Grayling gives you a thousand um, XP. Give premium 2000. Like that's amazing. That's really good. All right, guys, in one day, we caught over 40 fish. That is ridiculous. Baby chub. A trophy chub wouldn't be bad. I'd take that. Okay, the chubs are coming out. A 1.1k grayling. There we go. Oh, what? Oh, I got robbed. It said there was a fish on. Oh, all right. That's not fair. I got excited. All right. All right, a couple more casts here and I think they're gonna stop biting. Like you can catch them during the night, but the bite rate goes down to like 90% lower. <laughs> 
and it's not worth it. You'd have better luck just feeding. All right, it's the moon sim. Oh, don't. No. No. Good. <laughs> no. Let's see if we can get one more. Come on. I know you want to bite. Oh, yeah. Bedtime snack. Oh, yeah. This fish wanted a bedtime snack, but no bedtime for him because he's now dead. Goodbye. Thank you. All right. Let's see. I am really testing my fate with that rock, aren't I? I'm really testing my fate. I didn't learn my lesson from the last time. All right, come on. Anyone else want a bedtime snack? Mmm, yummy, come on. No bedtime snack for anyone? No? All right, guys. We are going to feed, and I'll be back if we catch anything during the night feeding. All right, guys. It is the morning of day two. We're going to use the spiker two, yellow, and let's see what we can catch. The one with the black dots was sold out, so we're going to use the one that does not have the black dots on it. And let's see what we can catch if we can't catch much i'll have go back to the hornet all right little eyed Nice little grayling there. All right, it's raining. So the bite rate on Balea when it's raining goes up extremely. So let's see. If I can't catch much, I'm going to go back to the Hornet because the three dots were sold out. And there's probably a reason why this one wasn't sold out. <laughs> Probably not as good, but we'll see here. Let's see if we can catch a decent one on the regular spiker here, yellow. There we go. Tom. Grayling, little one.
Come on. We might have to switch back to the Hornet. Maybe this is, maybe I wasted 50, 50 silver on this and it's not working that well. Yeah, there's a reason why this was not sold out. Yeah, I'm going to switch it back to the Hornet here. All right, guys, let's switch it back to the Hornet here. All right. There we go. Yeah, the Hornet is just uh, it's on fire. <laughs> Chubbies, all right. We love to see some chubbies. All right, let's head to back over towards this rock. And this time, we're not gonna get snagged. All right. Man, it's all the baby ones today. Like, holy. Baby brown. All right, so this is the brown honey hole. All right. All right, grayling, the map to get the, the spike or two yellows with the dots on it that was sold out here. I just really wanted to try it because a lot of people telling me they had really good luck on it. So I just had to try it out. So I went to uh, Oldberg Lake and I went to and I went and uh, bought it because it wasn't sold out there. Yeah, guys, if something's sold out on your map, just go to another map and most likely it'll be on that map. And if, uh, if something is doing really good on that map, most likely it'll be sold out. <laughs> Another baby. Drink some yummy tea. There we go.
728 grayling. Oh, what a really game oh my goodness i had a decent one on and it fell off Right. There are 55 fish, and we're not even close to half. Well, we are about halfway during this day, so about a day and a half, and we got 55 fish at Balea. That is insane good. Perch, goodbye. I don't want you. See you later. All right, let's head down this way a little bit. I think the Hornet does better than the Spike 2s that was uh, sold out. Might have to switch back to the Hornet. Wow. No, don't you think about it. All right, one second. I'm, I might switch back to my 17 pound test. I know that probably doesn't do a thing, but yesterday I was here, yesterday night in real life. I was here last night and I caught a lot of big browns and it was on the 79 pound test lines. I'm just going to see something. Let's take the line off this one and put it on this one already. Uh, I could have used 62, ah, 279. All right. Let's see if that makes a difference. If I get more of a bite rate on a thicker line, I'm going to be astonished.
now if we get a 30 pound tent attainment on well bring it on bring it on now i have the setup to take anything on in this river so i kind of feel a little better i don't feel as scared anymore no 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 don't don't oh no please be tell me it's behind it's in front of that rock oh <laughs> uh. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to switch it back to the Hornet again. I can't believe it. I wasted 100 silver on two of those lures, and they're doing jack. All right. Wow. Interesting. Wow. I didn't have to spend 100 silver, but you know what? That's right. Experiment. Put that back on. Now, if the bite rate starts picking up again with the, with the Hornet on, I that just amazes me. How is a hornet not sold out? The spiker is. There we go. There's going to be hardly any editing in this video, guys. The only time I'm going to edit the video is when it comes to nighttime because uh, I don't catch much at all at nighttime. That's why I didn't um, put any clips in the nighttime of last night because I literally caught just baby fish and I don't think it's worth putting the video and it's not exciting. So yeah, I'll, I'll only put the nighttime in if I catch something really good and it's worth showing, but. Even though I'm just catching babies, they all do add up in silver, so. I'll keep the babies as long as it's not perch. Perch, oh, they'll go for like 0 0.1 silver babies. It's not worth it. We had better buy rate when it's sunny out than we do when it's raining. That's very odd. With Balea, usually when it's raining, oh my goodness. You can't keep them off the hook. Not too many big ones, eh? That's really strange. Hmm. Let that lure sink in the honey hole. In that deep spot there. There we go.
this will probably be a longer short video and i'm just apologize on that if you don't like longer videos but because i don't edit much in this video it's probably gonna be a longer one a little chum On 959 grayling, that's a decent size one. Not bad at all. All right, try putting the spiker back on. At a grayling. Oh, it's a brown. All right. There we go. Oh, a seven, 770 gram brown trail. That's a big boy. I have about eight. There we go. 455 grayling.
Here we go. Brown. Oh, it's a perch. No, no, no. Nope. I do not want you. Goodbye. Maybe because it stopped raining. Maybe the fish start stop uh, start uh, settling down. And now they're going to get hungry. Now it's, it's cloudy, so maybe that's better. Usually when I, when I was here a while back, raining used to be, oh my goodness, so good. But we honestly had more bigger fish and better luck when it was sunny out. Which, that is just so strange to me. Hmm. Maybe climate change is, uh, <laughs> maybe climate change is, uh, is, um, deterring the fish around a little bit. <laughs> Come on, there's something juicy in here. Come on. There's something juicy in these weeds right here. Come on. No? All right. Be like that. All right, sunny out now. The bite rate should go off. <laughs> That's so strange to say. Come on. Sun's out. Time to bite. There we go. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a 1.14k brown. Look at that. You love to see it. What's up, dude? What's up? Oh, my goodness. You love to see it. All right, the browns are where the big fat browns are waking up now, which is good. Which is really good. I'm hungry. There you go. Have a candy bar. There you go. I'm delicious. You're not you when you're hungry. Brought to you by Snickers. All right, a couple more hours of them biting. Come on, get a few more in here. That'd be nice. We're at 66 fish, guys. Oh, my goodness. Just in two days. That is amazing, especially for Balea. That's really good. Oh, what do we have here? An 894 gray lane. All right.
some of the bigger ones are starting to come out. I'd love to see that. Man, if we can get a fish and then it will go in the red. Oh my goodness, that'd be awesome. That'd be probably over 3K. Oh, I would love to see that. Make my rod zing. My real zing, actually. Oh. That would be a big grayling. That would be at least over three. Nah, it'd have to be over like 4K for it to zing my rod. If if my rod, if my real actually zung, like zinged, it would be probably be a big, big probably 11K ass. It'd be like a 20K tame in. Because not very much fish can make my real go zing. Because I can, my setup here can handle a lot of big fish. Very big fish. Um, when I caught my 30k tame, and that, that still didn't come close to spooling me. I still had a quarter of a real um, spool left after catching a 30k tame. And so I think for me, for a fish to spool me, I think it would probably have to be like a 45 to 50k fish for it to spool me. So yeah. Nice little grayling. There we go. Nine oh nine brown trout. That's a nice size. Guys, we're at sixty nine fish. Sixty nine. Yes. That is a lot of fish. A lot of fish. Holy for Balea. You love to see it. The fish are swallowing the hooks like it's like it's nothing. But they're gonna stop swallowing the hooks pretty soon now because it's nighttime. Come on, give me one juicy, like what 2k brown grayling for it's night. Come on, I know you want to. Even the big ones gotta eat too, right? Come on now. Come on, bedtime snacks, everybody. Come get your meal. Come on. Everyone loves bedtime snacks. Here, I'll let, I'll, I'll let the, the lure drop right in front of your face. There's no work intended to do. Just bite the hook. Easy meal. Come on. Come on, I'm being a nice guy. I'm not even reeling in. Come on. I'm letting it sit right there for you. Come on. Mmm, delicious spiker. Delicious. Come on. One last cast, come on now.
All right, guys, this is going to do it for tonight. Oh, someone wanted a bedtime snack. All right. So ass. You know, let's do one more for good luck. All right, while I'm reeling in, this will be the last cast. I will see all of you guys in the morning. Oh, maybe not. Hold the, hold the phone. Hold the dang phone. We got some. There's a lot of bedtime snackers out there. Brown. Okay, we'll keep casting until we don't get a fish. My goodness. Anyone else want a bedtime snack? This will be the last cast until morning. Last one. Oh my goodness. Look at them, three for three. Even though it's a tiny chug, I'm not gonna stop casting until we get nothing on the next cast. I don't care how small the fish is. A fish is a fish. Oh, holy! Four for four at nighttime. What is going on here? I'm not gonna complain. I'll tell you that much. Ooh, what is this? Oh, a 1.4 brown, the biggest of the episode. Look at that, six thousand XP. Holy! There is no way they're biting this late at night, man. What is going on? Did we have a lot of daytime nappers out there or what? Holy. Maybe nighttime fishing is the way to go. <laughs> Maybe the more active at night than they are in day. <laughs> oh my lord, what is going on here? There's no way we're going to make it five for five. There is no way possible. I can't believe we got a 1.4. The biggest fish of the episode is at night. That is interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. Oh my, no way. There is no way we just got five. For, oh my. Guys, I'm speechless right now. I am like, oh, what? the hell is going on here? <laughs> what? No freaking way. Is this 7 for 7 or 6 for 6? I think 6 for 6. No, that was 6 for 6, right? This is 7 for 7. Oh my. I guess we had a lot of daytime nappers out there. Come on, don't let the shriek end. Don't let the shriek end. Come on, something. I know something's out there and wants to bite it. Come on. No, don't let the shriek end. No. All right, guys, I'll be back in the morning, or if I catch anything during the night, I will let you know. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. We fished for two whole days. I caught a lot during the night, but they were nothing to talk about. They're probably just maybe, I got maybe a couple, no, a couple, few 1K burbits. I got some sterlets, very, really young, um, small sterlets. Um, yeah, so that's about it. We got 109 fish total. So let's go ahead and see what we get. All right, anything in the cafe? 
No, we got, that's a horrible cafe. Oh, all right, nothing to cafe. What do you guys think we got for two whole days? I'm gonna show you guys how to get a lot of silver right here. You got your picks in, I'm gonna say about 300 silver. 412 silver in two days at Belaya River. Holy you guys, that is awesome. And that's without any cafe orders. You usually got some cafe orders. So that's amazing, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to smash the thumbs up button, guys. Hit the heck out of the subscribe button. And I'll see all of you guys on tomorrow's episode of Russian Fishing Force. Take care.